Hi guys! Today I'm bringing you something different from my new vlog video. In April I got in touch with Jessica aka The Spy and Cracker for her I Double Dog Dare You feature on her vlog. If you haven't seen that I'll post a link somewhere for you to check that out and the other things that she's done. And um, between Jessica, myself and Julie, Yummy Men and Kickass Chicks, Chicks, we'd all been starting the JD Rob in death series and Jess was really loving it and as I'm a big Nora Roberts fan anyway I decided to uh, send her an email and double dog dare her to try uh, Nora Roberts um, Angel's Fall which was one of the first Nora Roberts para romantic suspense sorry I was going to say paranormal romance romantic suspense books that I ever tried and I really loved it and it just made me brought me into the whole Nora Roberts genre and everything else that she's written I've pretty much read. But in return, <laughs> Jessica has um, Double Dog Dared Me Back, which I was okay with, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. And part of me should have prepared myself a little bit more because um, Jess is a big urban fantasy blogger. Um, and I always look at what she posts on her blog and some of the stuff, I don't always comment a lot on her reviews, sorry for that Jess, but um, I do like some of the stuff that she reads, but I think I prefer a little bit more romance and a little bit less action compared to Jess. Um, anyway, the book that she's recommended me is A Brush, uh, yeah, a brush of Darkness by Alison Pang. Um, I had <laughs> a small problem with this. Um, first of all, I had to decide whether or not to get the book or get the ebook. Um, I decided to get the book mainly because it was actually cheaper on Amazon. The book was two ninety nine. I think it's now gone up. Whereas the ebook was three ninety nine, which I think is what the Amazon price now is. So they're about the same now. But before it was much cheaper to buy the book, which really surprised me. And I tweeted to Jess and Julie, going, "Is this really a good book? Because it's only two ninety nine. It seems really cheap." And they're like, yes, yes, you'll love it, you'll love it. And I'm like, okay then. <laughs> but I accidentally, I'm not quite sure how this happened. I think Amazon just picked my card and my address for my details that they have stored on and sent it to my home address. So it went to my mum's address, not my home address where I'm living now. So it went to my mum's address. So nobody was at my mum's during the week because she works and I needed a signature for it so my mum hasn't been able to forward it to me till Saturday so um, I've only just got it <laughs> so it's taken me really taken me a while to get hold of this book but I'm quite interested and excited really to start reading this um, I don't really know that much about it it's um, the first novel I presume tell me if I'm wrong Jess it's the first book by Alison Pang. Oh, it's her first novel. I'm not quite sure which. Um, I don't know if it's going to be part of a series. I'm thinking probably yes. Um, and I'll just read the blurb on the back. The man of her dreams might be the cause of her nightmares. Six months ago, Abby Sinclair was struggling to pick up the pieces of her shattered life. Now she has an enchanted iPod, a miniature unicorn living in her underwear drawer and a magical marketplace to manage but despite her growing knowledge of the other world Abby isn't all prepared for Bryston Bryston? the dark, mysterious and sexiest in Incubus searching for his sister convinced Abby has the key to the Suscumbus whereabouts Abby has enough problems without having the seductive shapeshifter literally invading her dreams to get information but when her fairy boss and some of her friends vanish as well. Abby and Bryson must form an uneasy alliance as she is sucked deeper and deeper into this perilous world of fairies, angels and demons. Abby realises her life is in as much danger as her heart and there's no one she can trust to save her. And there's a cute little unicorn on the back. So I'm quite unsure <laughs> how this is going to go but I really quite liked the idea of um, an enchanted iPod and a miniature, miniature unicorn living in her underwear drawer so thanks Jess and you guys check back here on the 31st of May for my review on this book 
And I'll also do a link to Jess's review of Angels Fall by Nora Roberts. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.